Hello, this is Ken Gusgard. One of DB2000's most useful features is its ability to make user-defined fields. After installation, when we click on the User button, we find two fields are already there. These are named Squadron 1 and Squadron 2. They are text fields of 30 characters and they're kept on the headquarters computer and intended to be used for any squadron purposes. They predate DB2000. The thing to remember is that they are public and should only be used for agreed upon squadron wide purposes. However, we can add any number of user fields for whatever purpose needed. To make a user field, click on the button Tools and select User Field Options. Click on Define a new field and select the type of field that you need. And there are several different kinds. Num numeric fields, yes, no, or Boolean fields, date fields, memo fields, and so on. Uh, for an example, we'll have a text field and then we need to define the length of the field the default is 50 characters and that's enough for our purpose and we need a field name so we'll call it, I'm just going to paste something in there we'll call it newsletter then create the field and exit you'll now see that we have a new field in the grid the one that we've just named newsletter you may put any kind of text in this field um, as, as you need it but there are some other options. Um, there is a list of predetermined options here. And you can see all kinds of stuff in here. This uh, box is commonly called the data stuffer. And one of the things you can see here is names in very large number of uh, formats. Last, first, first, last last, first, grade, and rank, and so on and so forth. As an example, we're going to make a mailing list for our newsletter. So we're going to select Mail List, and we're going to select OK. And now notice that the column is now populated with names that can be used as email, as mailing address names for the whole family, Joyce and Thomas, Alan and Cynthia, Orlo and Sarah, and so on. So this is a, a handy way of keeping the number of copies of your newsletter to a minimum. Now that we have the names, highlight the column and click on C2C, which is, means column to tag. And we click on that, and now we've tagged these records. And now we can go and print mailing labels. Uh, to go back to our main screen, click on Main. Now we click on the Reports menu and select the item Print Roster Info Tagged Records. And this opens our down and dirty roster printer, which is a very handy little utility, but uh, it is somewhat limited in scope. Um, there is a far better printing utility available to DB2000 and it's called Report Wizard and is available from the Reports menu also. However, we will use this one for our current example. From the report type we're going to select Label and this is an Avery 8160 label, which is an address label. And from our record content, we're going to click row 1, we're going to click Formatted Name, and now we're going to go and look for the user field that we just defined in user field format. The only one there is Newsletter, so we say OK. And now I print, click the Add button. You notice that puts the name on row 1. Click on row 2, click on street address and add, click on row 3, click on city state zip and add, and then we'll barcode it. Now, 
This looks like it might be overflowing, but in point of fact, uh, you should always expand this to a full size to get an accurate idea of the uh, fill. The labels may now be printed by using the uh, printing controls at the top of the form here. Um, and you can see, you can preview the pages. You can print all or print to the end, whatever. When you're finished, just press close to return to the main menu. Now I will show you another feature that can be used from the user-defined field grid and that is its ability to make email lists. The first thing that we need to do is to go to Tools, User Defined Options, and define a new field. Next, from the field type, we are going to select a Yes, No, or Boolean field. And we're going to give the field a name. And now once again, I'm going to paste in one that I pre-did and we're going to create the field and exit. Now you see that we have our new field called email list. The next thing we need to do is to populate it. And I'm going to do this from the organization grid. Let's go back to main and let's print on organization and say that we want to uh, put the bridge offices on our email list. First, clear all the existing tags. You don't want those. And then tag the records by double-clicking on the cells. Or you can use the arrow key and enter, which in point of fact is a lot easier. We now have our tag lists. We go back to main. We go back to user fields. And we highlight our email column that we just made. and we save it by going tag to column. Now you can see that we have um, the ones that are on our email address are marked yes and we have five yes ones in the column. The email button will uh, open your computer's email client and it will attempt to pass the tagged record email addresses to this. Let's do this now and uh, it's starting Microsoft Word which happens to be my email client and here you see Microsoft Word with my two addresses already pasted in now I can uh, uh, type in a subject and put some text in it whatever and so on and so forth and when I've done I simply say send that will attach the message to my email clients outbox and it will return me to the user grid. You can make any number of these email listings for various purposes and it saves putting all of these addresses in your usual address book. Now we'll return to main again. So that is some of the things that you can do with user-defined fields and I think you will find them very useful.